Okay, so off-grid internet. Uh, here's what I'm doing. I got some recommendations from other folks, but this is just kind of what ended up working for me. I'm going to run through it real quick. I already have this router here that I bought a while ago. This one's currently not available. Any, I think, router will do just fine. I bought this Netgear LGE guy for 120 bucks. Uh, here it is right over here. Okay, and then I walked into the AT&T store and just said, hey, I'm just looking for a cellular internet plan for like a tablet or a hotspot. And they got me hooked up with this. It's 20 bucks a month with a $30 activation charge. And that's just what I pay for unlimited. So I was kind of surprised by that. I didn't think that I could get an unlimited 4G LTE 5G plan. Let's just go through and hook this up. So it's pretty simple. Oh yeah, there's one one caveat that I had to go through. Uh, anyway, okay. So here's the little hotspot thing. It's got a bunch of information on the back that I've taped over, uh, including like the password and everything to get in. So just take all this crap out. The little quick start guide says to make sure that you actually use this charger and don't actually plug it into the computer because it might not work, probably because this requires like two amps, uh, and I don't know that your regular computer stuff will provide two amps. USB-C, I'll just plug this in over here where it will barely reach to keep this on camera. Cool. Uh, and then you just take the little SIM card. This thing makes a very high-pitched squealing noise. Every time I plug it in, I get that. Oh, that's really, really terrible. Anyway, okay. Um, I was supposed to put this in first. Okay, so we put in the little SIM card. Nano SIM, I think. Here in the very back. So that goes. These go out to external antennas. Uh, then the LAN cable is the last thing we need. So I'll plug this in. And then I can take a one that I've already got over here. Plug that in there. I will unplug the internet I already have to my computer. Plug that in here. We we'll give this a second for this to turn green and then this light to turn green. First, when I did it, it was turning red. Oh, don't you do. Don't you? Okay. Uh, so now it's green. First, when I was doing it, it was turning red, which this guy says that I needed to add a custom APN profile. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so that's it. Now we can come over and do a speed test. Uh, this location that it's in right now is not super awesome. What? Network problem. This was just working. There we go. Okay. There it is. Okay. So on 4G LTE, I've gotten it up to... 40 megabits per second. Um, I think just this location kind of sucks. Hopefully out on the property, I'll be able to find a better location. If not, I may have to get an external antenna that'll plug into these two guys here. Um, this 11, 10, 11 is pretty awful. Uh, I had it up to 20 a little bit earlier, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the, the custom APN thing. So that is, if we come over to here, uh, what was the password? The password's on this guy. So get signed in. Um, so in the settings and then mobile APN, I had to set it up. This is the specific settings uh, that I had to do for ATT Mobile. For the Wi-Fi, instead of just running this into my computer, I'll just run this into the back of the router in the WAN port, and then that'll give us wireless internet through this at a whole 40 megs per second. So hurry for that. That's how we will have internet up on off-grid on the property. All right, okay, thanks, bye.